going to go in here and clean out his eyes. And so this is another chore. The thing you need to remember when you're working around the eyes, especially these dogs that have the little pop eyes, um, little bug eyes, is to get a good hold on them. And I put my finger right at the front of his skull. I've got my thumb in his jaw at the bottom. And I've got this finger is behind his skull so that if he pulls back, I've got a little bit of leverage. And then I'm going to place my clipper hand against the skull to give me some stability. Okay? Okay? And then I'm just going to sneak in here real quick. Tester, stop. And another reason that I like to use the 30 blade is because I don't even have to touch the skin. You're going to make me mess up my haircut, and I don't like that. Stop. Okay. Enough of that. We've got a little bit. The rest of it we'll clean up with our thinning shears because he doesn't mind that. So. Did going to the doctor make you ill, Mannered? Hmm? So when you do this, you want to lay your scissors in there with them closed. Okay, and then open them and go to work. And once I lay them down, especially if I got a dog that's acting like this, I want to go on and make several snips so that I don't have to go back if I don't have to. When he pull, I think he, he really, what he detests more than anything is that I'm holding his face. Then he really minds the scissor part of it. Are you been awful? Hmm? There. I got it, and I've got enough out. Uh, I don't want it clean, clean. I just want enough out to um, open up his eyes and keep the hair out of the corner of his eyes. Good boy. And usually just being patient and persistent pays off.